get this, might point to the relationship between Abraham and Sarah, Adam and Eve and their children, and Noah and his descendants, and claim, how can a God bless a lineage that is born out of incest? So yes, while it's true that God commanded no incest-like relationships and says that he will punish those who commit it, you would have to look at the time frame of when the command was given. First, to be clear, Incest doesn't approve or disapprove the existence of a god. Even when ascribing to creation or evolution, there has to be some type of common ancestor between humans. Now going back to the law, from the beginning of humans to probably around the time of Moses, these type of relationships were not as seen as bad or weird of some sorts, but just a natural means to grow the small human population. The biggest risk for it today is objectively the high likelihood for a genetic risk of a baby. If Adam and Eve had pure and healthy DNA since they were the first humans, there would be no risk. Back then, from Adam to Noah, you see a human population living with a high life expectancy. Once after the reset of the human population from the flood, then the life expectancy starts to plummet it, probably due to the corrupted DNA structure and having offspring from this. We see how humans today live to around 80 and think if that was incest, they should be dying at about 40th to 30th back then. But if you compare the reasoning to those living in the past with the life expectancy of those in the Bible, it would make more sense as you see a decline in the life expectancy. During the time of Moses, one of the reasons that God might have put a stop to these type of relationships was the low life expectancy. There was too much damage to the original design and God had to put a stop to it. Just because God allowed something for a while, then put a command in place to stop it, doesn't mean that God changed his mind. He decided now is the time to stop it. 